Hi guys! You know how I did a Overwatch slash Disney pick yesterday? Well, I colored it. This one I drew. This is a Don't Starve uh, mixed with Sailor Moon. If you guys don't know what Don't Starve is, it's a game that you guys should probably check out. Uh, it came out a very long time ago. I didn't even hear about it until my partner told me about it. And I... I'm not gonna lie, I became incredibly addicted to it to the point that I shipped these two characters. I don't want to say who, but I shipped these two characters so much and I fell in love with the game so much. I told, you know, Peter, hey, you, you've you drawn fan art of me as, you know, Don't Star style. Do you think you can teach me how to do that? And he did. He was a fantastic teacher. And after that, I couldn't stop drawing in this style. I think I've stopped for a little bit, just because I want to explore my own style. But implementing some of my style and Don't Starve style into this one piece was actually more difficult than I thought it would be. It was really fun. I won't, you know, I won't lie that it was fun, but incredibly difficult. Because I do hair, I do my art style a certain way, and being able to do that but also give off the Don't Starve vibe was really hard especially since the don't starve style is so unique in its own uh god looking at this i see so many things i know i should have fixed i should have done but one of the hardest things that i found myself seeing now and thinking oh god i fucked up was the arms don't starve arms have skinny skinny like twig like hands arms and it just didn't really <sighs> It almost, almost didn't translate well in the Sailor Moon design. So I was really struggling with that. I zoomed in and part of it so I didn't even have to draw it. It was that difficult for me. There's certain things I should have just changed. You see, I'm really trying to figure out what to do with her arms. <sighs> One thing a lot of people always think is when is it taking inspiration and when is it just copying someone's style? I got into an argument on TikTok. I know, crazy, because we're growing up, we're living in a time where people don't really, can't... You know when you post something and someone says don't repost? Or permission only? I know during the comic dub days, that was like a big deal. And how it was really important for all of us to ask permission to voice the dub and go through very large, long processes to make sure that everything was good and no one was upset in the end. And I can 100% say that every single comic dub that I have done is with permission. 100% permission. I have the screenshots to this day just to make sure, just in case anything bad happens. You never know. It's good to be prepared than, you know. It's good to be over prepared than under prepared. Going back to this. On TikTok, there was a girl that kept on claiming that she was taking inspiration from this one artist. A very small, unknown artist. The, uh, you know, I know the art style by chance, but yeah. Uh, and she was like, oh, I'm taking inspiration from this artist, when she literally just traced it. And people didn't understand the difference between tracing and inspiration. I tried to tell them, no, 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 they're not getting inspiration, they're literally just tracing the artwork. And, I don't know, we, we're living in a time where people don't really show artists too much respect. We have reposters, we have people who are selling other people's art. And I just... I don't quite understand why people do that. Why people are, like, so easily okay with earning money off of other people's work that they didn't draw. Comic dubs, that's one thing, but just stealing an art and just selling the prints, that's a whole other. As I'm drawing this, I'm just thinking, like, God, this would be so pretty as a print. Like a mini print with holographics on it. <sighs> I think that's the only reason this art piece hasn't been printed on paper yet in my store. It's because I want the holographic paper, and at the moment, everywhere is out of stock. But once it does, I think it would be pretty nice and, you know, it would be nice to have this on print kind of want to put it this on my wall it looks really nicely done i'm really happy with it look at that so yeah guys make sure that you always credit the people like if you're gonna repost something make sure you get permission if you can actually repost look at the reels etc etc because it's better to be you know 100 percent sure 
you don't want it to get into any problems. But yeah. Sorry if this is a very short video. I'll be going back to my regular gaming videos in a second. I just... I'm... You know... <laughs> I'm a little overwhelmed with the work. Not really, actually. But yeah. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for joining uh, in this video. If you guys want to see any of the prints that I have or anything like that, I do have my story and the link is down below. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> this came out nice. Thank you.